Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Uh, coming to you live from the basement of the Seattle apartment. Notice I don't have the apartment in the background there. Yeah, that's why it's so darkish. It's kind of darkish. Not much light down here, but you don't need to see me, really, do you? No. No, you don't. Um, I, geez, I said I was going to write down the person who won yesterday. Nino Brown. Need to know the odds, though, Nino Brown. Need to know the odds of what it was. She got a parlay a couple days ago. The only person to hit the parlay so far. In the lead for the premium package for B-Pal Picks. And I'm the pow part. Pearl O Wisdom. Uh, again, comment in the comment section, anything. And if you want to, I will give you, you, do, you comment even if you do. If you don't want it, just don't worry about it. Just don't, just don't listen to me. But comment in the comment section. Tell me what your picks are. Tell me what you think about this pro, fine programming and all of those sort of things like that. And I will offer you a premium package for the rest of the month of B-Pal Picks because I'm just that confident in uh, what we're doing over there. Tennis picks, my gosh, I got uh, a 93 and 47, 93 wins, 47 losses right now. Um, just hit another parlay today in the NHL, and I'll show you that. Um, my singles were a little off, but my large picks were bang on. So we were up on singles. Might be almost, might not be up on singles here, actually. It's going to depend on if Vancouver can come back here. And if Vegas can win a reg, if those two things happen, then we're actually really good on single plays. And we'll get into that in a second. Uh, we'll look, at, let's, let's go look at that, shall we? Remember, hit the subscribe and the bell, and I'll get Helen to knit you up a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace. Send it over with her, Hernandez and Melissa. Go in the comment section who you'd like it to have it from, Hernandez or Melissa. They'll pearlocopter it right to your door. You just sit out there and wait for it, and it'll be there for sure. All right? All right. Okay. Um, I was actually really good that things started to turn around today uh, because I almost had to go to the house of spanking again. Not that I mind doing that, really, but I prefer to, do, to have everything stay in line and not need to go to Perlo's House of Spanking. If you don't know what that is, that's just what it sounds like, Perlo's House of Spanking. Because everybody needs a spanking sometimes. Gets you back in line again. Okay, let's look. Okay, this is going to be... What the heck? Okay, this is going to be uh, the games tomorrow. But we are going to talk about the games that happened today. Okay, and what I had yesterday. Okay, what I had on Patreon, this is happening right now. I took the Canucks. I thought they're going to get some rest, and they're going to come back with a vengeance. As you can see, they're out shooting them 24 to 14. Uh, I normally do these in the morning, by the way, but I'm really going to be busy, so I, I, I did it at night this time. 0-0 uh, zero, zero after the second. Now, I never would have saw that coming. I have Golden Knights in reg, so I need them to score. They're getting out shot. Not looking too good. Uh, hopefully they can come up with something there. I'm watching that game. It really doesn't look like the Ducks are out shooting them. They must be shots from the outside. Didn't put a play on here, although I did lean the over. And I did lean the Sharks. But I never put a play in on this. So the over would likely come in. If you remember from my video, I leaned the over. Here's where things went a bit of awry right off the beginning. The Islanders were doing real well. Real well, pretty well. 30 seconds left, 3-2. I have the Islanders and the under. They get a, I think they gave up, uh, got to get a penalty. Malkin, who hasn't been doing poop all year, really, decides to go out and score a goal. And then, of course, once I went into overtime, I do not like the Islanders in overtime over the Penguins when you got Crosby, Malkin, 
cancel all of those guys. I mean, they really only have Barzal. One thing I did notice, though, is the Islanders were just going in and shooting. They were giving up possession right away as soon as they got in Pittsburgh zone. Three on three, that's not a wise move, boys and girls. Not at all. But uh, that's what they did, and they ended up losing the game. So I was not looking good after that. And then I was not looking good after this either. But Projo, if you watch my show from 1 till 3 till 3 till 5 Eastern, five days a week, I'll be on tomorrow. You might want to check it out. Projo and I, it was Steel Projo and I today. We talk about all the games that happened and... Then we talk about the games that are going to happen. We talk about everything to do with hockey. And we talk with you. In the, as you, uh, There's a little section there where um, people that are watching can say their thing, whatever they want to say. And we usually talk back and forth and ramble on. It's much frolic. I'd highly recommend you go check it out. Anyways, Projo picked the Panthers. I couldn't pick the Panthers with Bob Rosky. I did, however, take the over on this game. So I finally had one. I was one in three after the first two games. Not great. Second game, I had the Blue Jackets, but I also had the Blue Jackets in a parlay. So that was good. Bad thing, I had the under. So singles right now, I'm two and four, not looking sweet. Then I had the Red Wings uh, PL, plus one and a half, paid... Not a bad, not a bad, like 167, almost 170 for that play. Where Predators were getting 160 ml. And I thought, the way the Predators are playing, I'm sure the Wings are going to keep this close. And they did. And I also had the under here. So I believe that would put me four and five, right? What was it? I think I'd write this down. Oh, and two. One and three. One and four, one and three, two and four, four and four, four and four. Jets, I had the under, they just barely got under six and a half. This was my large pearls pick. Jets in reg and Jets under six and a half. So though large pearls are like three to five pearls, whatever, like big Big pearls on those units, if you don't know what pearls are. So um, that put me pretty much ahead after that because these were smaller plays, maybe one or two units, uh, and I was a little bit down. Then I lost a little bit more on the Oilers. I had the Canadians to win that game, so I was four and five. I didn't have a play on this. I did lean the over, but I did lean the stars but I didn't put it in as a play. I did lean the over, though, um, simply because Reinhardt was in net. Stars, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on there. Hudobin gets uh, benched. Uh, sometimes they, they've looked very inconsistent this year, which was really surprising after the playoffs. Um, going to be interesting to see what happens there. Anyways... My parlay. I didn't even tell you what my parlay was. My parlay was Islanders PL. That's right. So it worked out okay because I had Islanders PL plus one and a half. I had Blue Jackets and I had another PL. And I had the Jets under. Paid almost 3.75 units. So even if I break even or come close, I'm going to be a little bit over with my parlay. Okay, that was what happened yesterday. Let's look at our picks for tomorrow. Tough one. Now, the rate, I'm going to give you a pick here, but it's going to be based on a few things. Panarin was hurt, and it's not looking good that he's going to be back. If Panarin's not back, I'm taking Boston and Reg. Uh... And I'm taking the under. If Panarin's not there, I believe they're going to go back to Tuka Rask. Even if it's a lock. I don't think the Rangers are going to be able to score enough. Um, and with Shesterkin is, Boston will have a hard time scoring on the Rangers. 
So I'm going to say it's going to be like 3-1, 3-2, something like that for Boston. I hope it's 3-1. So I don't... Have you noticed when betting this year, every game is a freaking sweat? Even that Ottawa under ended up being 5-1. I And I thought that was a slam dunk under. Anyways, it's annoying. So I'm going to go Boston in reg, which should pay you about 185, somewhere around there. That's on the three-way, if you don't know. Uh, I'll probably be putting that in as a pick for my pay, pay, for on Patreon. Uh, St. Louis, Arizona. Tough one here. I think I'm fading. It's just I can't figure out the St. Louis team. They looked really good the last game. They've been on the road a hell of a long time now. I do like the juice they're getting at 174 to win this. Kemper should be in. I mean, this should be under all day, but they've been playing over lots. So at five and a half, uh, under five and a half, it's a lean. St. Louis ML, I guess. So tell me your uh, parlays down there in the bottom. And we have the parlay challenge. Uh, whoever, right now, the parlay winner, I just told you their name, is for the month, is Nino Brown, who still needs to give me odds on their parlay. Maybe I'll go figure it out for them, but still, I don't know what the odds were when they played it. So you have to put your odds. So if you do a parlay, it's a three-pick parlay, it pays 6.5, your odds are 6.5 to one. So just put 6.5. Those will be your points that get th put in the book in the fancy journal that I got. And uh, then at the end of the year, a month, you will get a full month free of premium picks on BPAL picks. Also, one more thing. When we get up to 50 followers, we're up to 25, I believe now, 25 uh, patrons. Not too shabby. When we get up to 50, there will be a draw, which I'll do live. And somebody's going to get one year free. One year free of premium picks. So head over there. Support, could you? If you could, please. That would be awesome. Uh, I do not make money doing picks because for some stupid reason, if there is a God, I, I really would like to ask him this when it's all over. If it's a him, he, she, whatever. Why? When I make picks, do it, does everything fall apart for me? I think it's just because I can give them to you and you can make money. It's the way I give in this world. Comment in the comment section. Let's connect, boys and girls. And uh, let's also just have a great day. That's my full 42. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.